My name is Stephen Calloway and I'm a curator here at the Victoria and Albert Museum and I'm curating the exhibition The Cult of Beauty devoted to the aesthetic movement in Britain from 1860 to 1900. When the V&A contacted me about the exhibition they were hosting in April based around the aesthetic movement, it immediately occurred to me that it was the perfect thing for us to marry up a fashion shoot to. To complement the amazing William Morris rooms at the V&A, we went to Liberty, the department store, and they provided us with original fabrics, original pieces of furniture and props, so that you know, the pictures, our pictures would look as authentic and as true to that period as possible. Fashion played a really key part of the aesthetic movement. Um, it's an art movement which began with painters um, who were fascinated by the idea of creating an entirely new sort of beauty. Um, and that involved creating um, the image of models who looked nothing like Victorian womanhood. Um, they were freed from corsetry, they wore wonderful flowing gowns, exquisite colours, the hair free. Um, it's a complete revolution. I mean, the thing about this colour, this orange colour, is that it was absolutely typical of the time. And there's so many famous paintings where the girls are wearing literally exactly this colour. I am trying to work out what is the best jewellery to go with each of the looks, because jewellery is really important to the aesthetic movement. But it needs to be incredibly carefully considered, because it wasn't about adornment as such in the conventional sense, because they were a move away from that really over-decorated Victorian thing towards a kind of really loose, relaxed, kind of effortless look. These shoes are extraordinary. They're almost beyond price. They're handmade and hand embroidered. Every single petal was hand embroidered and then assembled into these three-dimensional flowers. Somebody was asking me the other day how to explain, how do you explain the aesthetic movement, what it stood for? And one of the famous lines is that the aesthetic movement is art for art's sake. One of the really interesting things is the way the lines of the dresses of the time uh, were completely freed from the old constraints of fashion. Um, people wanted to break free from the idea of corsetry um, and the dresses became completely free-flowing, unconstricted. It was all about the beauty of a female body, it was all about the wonderful colour of the fabric just draping. shoot's really unique because when there's a really strong storyline it makes it much more exciting for, from my perspective and the composition of the shots is really important. There's not only you know, me in a sort of floating dress, there's also these amazing sort of flower displays and sort of setups that creates a real story and a, an idea and a narrative behind the movement that we're looking at. 